Gary Nasai Minasan. Today we're gonna talk about Kamen Rider Gears episode 36. Before watching Kamen Rider Gears episode 36, let us start with the trailer. Let's go. Whoa. Okay. Grando in. Oh. Oh. Damn boy, we are gonna see something epic next week and that is the battle between the Akimado with Buffa alongside the legendary Ukyo as himself. So I am really really excited for the next episode and part of the reason is because we are actually gonna see a lot more character doing a lot more scummy thing but most importantly hallelujah win is back so we are not sure how things are gonna go like we are not even sure hallelujah win is actually still on the side of the dgp or not like even though like from what i see and uh, how he acted in the ending of episode 35 it almost seems like he is actually still on the side of the dgp but there could actually be a, a, a discrepancy okay like he might be actually lying because we know that he is a really really good double agent from the past we actually get to see him in action before so we might actually get to see hallelujah win and uh ukyo s walking together once again so that is really really amazing that we are actually gonna see them maybe trying to take down the DGP together or something like that okay so we are not sure how things are gonna go but with that being said let us take a look at the trailer scene by scene to kind of like figure out what we learn what we can learn from the trailer itself so we immediately start off the trailer with this amazing amazing shot of Ukyo as seemingly destroying something like maybe a rubble maybe something else we are not sure but this is really really amazing shot I love the the light flare I, I that Light flare is definitely kind of like an add-on effect, but it is still really, really good. Okay, so I really hope, like, maybe, like, in the movies of the Kamen Rider series, they can actually utilize more anamorphic lens, something like that. That is gonna be amazing. But with that being said, let me move on to the next thing. The next thing we get to see Ukyo S and Hallelujah Win, like, kind of like punching one another, something like that. So this I, I i would assume this is how they meet and hallelujah win actually came to find ukyo s try to talk things out with him or maybe something some other reason okay like we, we we're not sure like why hallelujah win is here and and who actually initiated the conversation because one thing we need to know is that ukyo s usually is the one that's initiate a conversation with someone but how would S initiate a conversation with someone that he doesn't know is still alive and now that Hallelujah Win is alive I would say maybe Hallelujah Win is gonna be the one that approaches Ukyo S and kind of like ask like yo bro you wanna walk together something like that so that is my theory but yeah let me move on to the next thing and we get to see Niram back in action once again I honestly speaking I, I I actually really, really enjoy the character of Niram, not gonna lie. Like, he is kind of like the, the elegant asshole. But then again, like, I just imagine in my mind, like, he is like like a little boy, that like, like a spoiled brat, okay? Like, that he thinks that he's all cool and handsome, but he's, he's not. <laughs> that is my... my impression of Niram okay but I, I honestly really like his character and I'm really really glad that at this at this final final arc of Kamen Rider Gears we are actually gonna have him back in action once again and and the way that things goes I, yeah. oh man what am I trying to say like with the how things ended for Niram like that is not the end of him but one thing that I forget to actually talk about in my episode 35 breakdown video is how did Sueru actually access the power of goddess of creation when he doesn't have both of the vision driver itself one thing we need to remember both of the vision driver right now 
is in the position of both Beroba and Kekera. So how did Suedu actually resurrect Niram and Hallelujah win without the Vision Driver? Does Suedu actually have kind of like a special access or maybe he doesn't need the Vision Driver to access the power of the Vision Driver, something like that. I felt like these things are things that we need to consider or maybe there is kind of like a master driver, you know, like a master Vision Driver that overrides all authority, even the Vision Driver itself because we bought first we have the desire and then we got the vision and what 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 is above vision what is above vision i i, I do not know like but i'm i'm sensing a, a new driver that is gonna come and that driver is gonna be the driver that swallow used the final evil driver and that is gonna make the entire world shack okay because it doesn't make sense for for swallow to be able to access the power of goddess of creation without uh, the vision driver at all so this is really really interesting let me move on to the next thing next we get to see the fish jamato trying to strike down sarah i am not sure what sarah is doing but she is definitely not paying attention this is really really crazy thing and i am honestly sincerely i i hope sarah doesn't die but in order for kwa to be the the dark kewa that all of us actually secretly want him to be is definitely the death of sarah and that might be what kekera actually wants to see as well okay so that is something that i i i really really not sure whether or not it, 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 is it gonna happen but it is what it is okay it is what it is now okay and i uh, yeah sarah is still alive no worries that she's just on the floor um, but surrounded by Jamato, not sure is what is gonna happen to her. But next thing we get to see Kwa being like really, really like oh holy shit, here we goes again vibe. So we are not sure what is gonna happen. And next we get to see Beroba in the Jama Garden as well, like, looking really, really cocky. Not sure why, but she looks really, no, she just looks evil with how she looks. <laughs> It is what it is, okay? But next, we get to see Buffa like sitting there completing something. We are not sure what he's thinking about, but he is eating sukiyaki. I think that is... A, do, do we call this sukiyaki? I'm not sure what it is, but hot pot. Uh. I'm just going to call it a hot pot with ukyo S. So ukyo S is having a little bit of bonding time with Buffa. And this is really really interesting because like i said in my episode 35 breakdown video like both of these guy doesn't actually have any grudges with one another for me i think personally and buffa just want to set the wall straight and if ukyo s is there to help him he's gonna use him and maybe by the end of the day he would still love to fight against Ukyo S to find out who is actually the winner, something like that. So yeah, we one thing that I am really really surprised is to see this the bull and the fox working together. But I, I I love it. Okay, I love their dynamic right now. They 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 seems like they know what they are doing. But then again, we will never know what is gonna happen further down the line. But with that being said, let me move on to the next thing. We get to see this awesome scene of Buffa charging up his sword just by using his shoulder. So we know Buffa really loved inflicting pain of himself. So this is one way that he can do it. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is really, really awesome scene. But next, we get to see Akimado looking at a photo. So I would assume that Beroba is going to be the one that instruct Akimado like, Hey, bro you want to check out this girl you want to go attack sarah something like that and maybe this is how beroba actually take revenge of kekera something like that for not delivering on the thing that they actually wants to deliver something like that but there's a possibility okay that is just a possibility next we get to see this fish looking cgi monster fighting against monster buffa and this is really interesting because i think this is the first time that we actually get to see buffa when he uses the fever slot and also the zombie rice buckle not henshin into a zombie zombie but wait, wait, first time we actually get to see him henshin into a monster zombie something like that so can he is can he actually choose what he wants to henshin into because 
on honestly speaking, using a, a zombie zombie is gonna be way more impactful here. But then again, maybe we also want to see like a monster versus monster fight. That is just a theory. But I love how the fish looks, okay? The fish looks amazing. It looks really, really gory. And that is what I like about the monster. Hopefully, we get to see more, more of this type of monster in the future in Kamen Rider series because the more disgusting it is, the more amazing it is, okay? So, yeah. This is this amazing, amazing scene. Buffa and Giz, they are just amazing like this scene is so cool i love this scene a lot man like this is really really subarashi like two of the gods are actually trying to fight against the the akimedo the the devil or monster whatever you want to call it gods and monster a little bit like dc again all over again what am i trying to say bro but this is amazing i can't wait to see what is to come but that is all from me hope you enjoy what you see here this next episode is gonna be lit it's gonna be action heavy but most importantly i can't wait to see how things are gonna go with the story itself that is all from me hope you enjoy if you like what you see you know what to do subscribe and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one <laughs>